And so there was recently a new study came out that looked at what's going on with Beetlejuice. And can you tell us, just give us a brief intro to that and what was found. So this particular study is not necessarily telling us um, something extraordinarily difficult, but it fills in the gap in, um, in, de in terms of details of what happened during that episode of Beetlejuice. Uh, that particular study was uh, conducted using a very specialized instrument in one of uh, the Southern Hemisphere large telescopes that managed to actually generate a, let's see, a two-dimensional picture of the brightness, surface brightness of Beetlejuice, what we can see. Uh, and the data were collected before the, the minimum of the dimming, during the minimum of the dimming, actually right smack at the very minimum and during recovery. So this particular study managed to actually build a little movie of that material as it actually condensed and cover that side of Beetlejuice um, that was between us and the line of sight. And uh, as, as the, the material, the, the dust dissolved a little bit. So it's, it's what we were talking about before. Um, you're looking at the same problem with different goggles, with different instruments, and you're revealing something different. So you just, this is another piece of the puzzle that it will help us understand the physics uh, and the mechanics of this kind of uh, ejection phenomenon from Beetlejuice. And stars like that, of course, right? Fabulous. 